everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make home rice. It's kimchi fried rice with a little bit of pugogi and a fried egg on top. If you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. We're going to make this just like we normally make kimchi fried rice, except we're going to add a little bit of pugogi just to have some more protein, and we're going to add an egg blanket on top. Adding one cup of prugogi actually gives it a lot of flavor. It's going to make this absolutely delicious. You're going to love this. With this and the egg blanket on top, you're looking at some protein here. So at least you've got that with your veggies in there and it's going to be amazing. This prugogi is actually already pre-made and pre-cooked. I'm just reheating it inside of the frying pan. You can use the raw version if you're going to go ahead and cook it as well. This works fine. Either way, it'll work. But with this prugogi, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it up into bite-sized pieces just so we can have it with every bite of our flavorful rice. You can cut it beforehand, but scissors always work. So it's just easier, it helps, it's less dishes. You guys know how I feel about dishes, so we're doing it this way because it's just easier. Now that we have our prugogi going, we are going to add one cup of kimchi. Make sure it's fermented, it's nicely you know, the good flavorful kind, not the raw fresh ones, but you wanna make sure it's been sitting there for a little bit so it's ready to go. So we are also adding, again, one cup of kimchi. And again, grab those scissors, same pair of scissors is just fine. Cut this up into bite-sized pieces as well. Once you're done cutting everything up together, Go ahead and saute the two flavors together inside your pan and let it cook for a few minutes. I sped up my video a little bit so that you guys don't have to sit around and wait for this to just cook. But after a few minutes, if you have the kimchi juice, add a quarter cup of kimchi juice right into the pan. If you do not, I did not. So if you do not, go ahead and add a quarter cup of water. Don't worry, it's not going to lack any flavors. You're going to still get all the goodness out of this. I am adding one teaspoon of red pepper paste right into my pan. You can add up to a tablespoon or if you want it more spicy, add some chili pepper flakes to it as well. I'm also adding a teaspoon of Splenda into mine as well as a teaspoon of sesame oil into the pan. And we're gonna mix all these flavors together. We're gonna saute this together and you're gonna cook this probably for about a good seven to eight minutes or so. You're gonna watch your cabbage in the cooking process of it because then that's when you'll know it's kind of done. Keep an eye on your cabbage while you're cooking this or you're sauteing this. It's gonna be translucent or more on the translucent side so that you know that it's ready and it's done to have the rice added into the pan. Just so you guys know, I am cooking mine on a medium high heat burner flame. So watch your pan because you never know if you overcook it, you're gonna boil off all the liquid and then you're not gonna have anything there. So you wanna make sure you still have your liquid in the pan while you're cooking this. Now, after about eight minutes or so, Go ahead and add your three cups of cooked rice right into the pan. And all we're gonna do is just blend all the flavors together. Carefully start tossing everything with your kimchi and your rice and the pugogi so that we can get all the flavors right into the rice and everything can be blended beautifully and you're gonna see that everything is a nice red color or orange color. Take your time doing this because all of this is gonna be really hot and you don't want anything flying around because you're just trying to rush dinner along. This dinner was actually requested by my oldest daughter. She actually asked me for this. She didn't even remember the name of it, but she was like, you know that kimchi rice with the egg? I want that. Can you make that for me for dinner one night? And I was just shocked she asked for this. So that's why this video is here for you guys. Sometimes it's just the easiest things, the simplest things that the kids want. They don't need anything fancy and you don't need to do all this work and look for all these ingredients to make a good dinner. Plus it's just easier during the weeknights because you know, we get busy. It just happens, that's how life is. So anything that can take like less than 15 minutes, I'm all for that. As you can see, I've been mixing for quite a few minutes here. 
And while I was doing that, all the juice is gone. Everything's been absorbed right into the rice and you can see the little bits and pieces of the bulgogi and the kimchi in there. So every little bite is gonna have a really good flavor to it. All right, moving on to our eggs here. I am using three eggs, one egg per dish. And obviously cooking oil is essential. If you have a good pan, the nonstick pan that doesn't require it, don't use the oil if you don't need to. But I'm just iffy with this pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my cooking oil in here. Heat up your pan nicely. And then we're gonna scramble up those eggs. Add a little bit of water if you want to it or milk, just to thin it out a little bit. Uh, I think I used about a tablespoon. And then I'm just gonna pour it right into the pan. I'm gonna roll my pan around a little bit just to make sure I have an even coat of egg all over the pan. As you can see, I am cooking mine on a medium heat, medium high heat setting. Adjust your burner as needed. You just never know how with the pan and how the egg and everything goes. So just, you don't wanna burn your eggs basically. I do eventually lower the heat on this, but I am gonna go ahead and just let it sit here and let it do its thing until it's done. You can see I'm adjusting my pan around a little bit just to make sure I get the egg cooked all the way around and on top, in the middle, whatever. And after a few minutes, this is how it looks. I hadn't even flipped it yet. So this is how it looks, giving it a few minutes to cook on its own with a lower setting. And you'll know your egg is done when you can easily slide it around your pan. Now that our egg is done, most people will take the time and put the egg down and put their rice on top of that and then roll it up to make a nice little burrito. But I'm gonna make it simpler and I'm just gonna throw my egg right on top, just like a blanket. Same effect. And as you can see, this is our result. Pretty easy. Garnish it with some sesame seeds, some green onions, and some ketchup right on top. And this is just an easy dinner. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe, hit that share button, like this, hit the notification bell, and until the next meal, thank you for watching, watch me cook. If you guys made it to the end, here's my little funny here. I didn't have my little squeezy bottle and tried to write this with just a regular ketchup bottle and it didn't work out well. Thanks for watching guys.